Hey there everybody, this is Shago. Welcome back to Press Garden Zone. Uh, in the last episode we uh, skipped flying back to his boss and uh, yeah, I'm kind of uh, okay with this. <laughs> uh, like I said, it's, it's easy to do, that skip is actually easy to do with uh, Knuckles and like Tails or uh, you can also do it. I uh, can't really do it with Mighty. Speaking of Mighty, I can break this block here. Um, can't really do it with Mighty, can't really do it with Sonic because of the way partners work in Oncomo. And you need to get them to do the, the skip. I don't think even, I don't think Mighty can actually do the skip. I think Sonic relies on the, uh, Sonic relies on the Lightning Shield. Wow. While, uh, to get the double jump, I, Mighty doesn't get that because, uh, Oh, there's a special stage ring here. Okay. I know th I know there's a special stage ring in the secret passage I went into. Uh, that's usually where it is in the vanilla, but they've moved that, so... Uh, I have to play it to the Ephraim and come out. And, uh, kind of makes it... It does make Uncle Mode a lot more interesting. Well, it kind of, it kind of like, adds a uh, black to the end. I mean, even though... The uh, levels are essentially the same. It does change a couple of things out. Like it, changed, it basically changed the colors of the levels, and mm. it changed the colors. Of the levels, it changed the layout of what the special stages are. The special stages are also different. And I'm not doing the special stages because they are um, the hard, the hard, and I'm kind of. I mean, technically, I'm watching out on doing the special stages, but at the same time, I don't care. I've done the special stages. I did the special stages in regular uh, main mode. And I don't really need to see super anymore. And as a spoiler alert, the uh, any super doesn't actually uh, affect. Uh, doing like beating on come up, so I'm not wrong. So I say I don't need that particular item, but no, I don't. Because uh, that item is the which you randomize. Maybe I could change everybody up, maybe uh, anything's interesting, because otherwise I'm just going to be using the uh, Mighty Knuckles through the entire play at the moment. I probably should get one of those, like, in your time. Because otherwise, I'm just gonna end up playing uh, smiting knuckles all the time or smiting somebody else. Okay, we're in uh, the territory here. Yeah, this is one of those, this is one of the very few places where I use the Mighty's uh, like bounce attack actually is. Uh, Pretty effective. It is also uh, like a drawback as well, which you will probably very likely see in Act 2. Oh, I'll mention it when we get there, actually, to be honest. You know what? Randomizer already. We've got Sonic, yeah. We've got Sonic and Tails. We've got the old Dynamic Duo back. Go. I wanted to. Actually, I'm... I think I'm fine. No, I'm not. I'm not fine. I'm not fine. I'm not fine. You'll tell. Let's just cheese this because this. Uh, I believe this part is eternally loop unless you get this right. And the way you get this right is to uh, be at the top of the rotating barrel thing at the end of it. So here's the checkpoint, and down here is the boss. Everybody say hi to the boss. Boss says hi back. Basically, the gimmick of this boss is you've got to uh, make him break you one of his uh, saw blades, so you can actually hit him. Otherwise, you can actually hit him normally. 
Um, the issue is with this one is normally I'm doing this whilst uh, super, so this one takes like two seconds. So there's that. Only go for the green boxes, and you should be fine. Oh, as I said, this one's cheatable with the uh, super. I'll be honest, a lot of the bosses that I've um, from this point on, I generally cheese boss being super. Also, while we're here, moonwalking, I can I can do some of the uh, swag tricks that the speedrunners can do. Uh, don't say don't say that I can't. I mean, I've already done one. I did the uh, I did the skip with uh, the flying back to two skip with knuckles. By the way, the gimmick of oh, Act 2 here is you can be frozen and it's icy and stuff. I wanted to show off with um, Mighty, you can actually uh, use his drop attack on uh, the Xbox here. But you have to be careful because there's parts in this place where the. Um, there's like stacks of blocks like that, and you can easily um, get crushed by. And because they are affected by gravity, it's, it's very easy to get crushed by them. Uh, it's, one, it's one of the things I've learned the hard way not to do. So yeah, I'm kind of glad we're going through this with uh, someone who isn't... Uh, someone who isn't mighty. Because... Yeah, otherwise I'd just be uh, doing that all the time, like, why have I died, why have I been explicitly lost my mic, I didn't need to uh, actually lose it. Now, if I remember correctly, originally up here was a special stage run. I lost my shield. And also, if you have a fire shield, you can actually be frozen, and you can actually get rid of the uh, ice box straight away. And it also gets rid of the. Um, also gets rid of. What was I trying to say? It gets rid of the uh, spike traps as well, which are also in case of fire. I want Sonic here because. Uh, I can do that. Uh, Fireball Spin Nash is actually really good around here. So you can get rid of the spike. Again, you might have to be uh, careful here because you can't get crushed. And also, yeah, you can't. So uh... the fire boss is nice, but it does have its drawbacks. And also, are we in somewhere where I'd like? I'm thinking of somewhere where I don't know what I'm supposed to first. I said fire shields are useful. Fire shield has its uses. All tails are just gonna get uh, frozen to that. That's pretty great. Fortunately, I think we are we at the end of level now? Well, we're almost at the end of level. Alright, tails, get up there. Get some rings. You don't necessarily need them because the whole 100 boom kind of life thing doesn't actually work in this game in this particular mode because uh, we only have 5 lives and we have all 5 lives. I might as well pick up this water shield. If anything, it's a free hit. Can we actually get up there now? Oh no. I think we get up here through the means of this spring. Spring that up here. Or rather use that spring, and yeah, we're at the boss. Again, this one I choose with the uh, super. What you meant to do is you're supposed to check attacking when he uh, uh, do, doing his uh, all his fleshy stuff. And then you'll get stunned, and then you can, uh... I 
attacking. But it's uh, super, you can just like run into it and be fine. He still tries to freeze him, I think he can freeze him and attack him. So. There's that as well. The nice thing about being frozen though is that you do actually are basically immune to the uh, Asylum enemies that he tries to uh, throw at you. Now, Mr. Heavy Shelby, please be a darling and actually cooperate with us, boys. You're being, uh, you're being a fan. And go away. Yeah, a lot of these fights I don't really like doing unless I'm super, so uh, expel a lot of bad fights like that. <laughs> uh, but anyway, onwards to the next zone, I guess. I uh, believe the next zone is Stardust Speedway. <sighs> uh, judging by all the far crowd that's going on here. Yeah, Stardust Speedway. They actually changed um, Stardust Speedway's boss up, the uh, Act 2 boss. So we're actually going to be seeing that for the first time. The the change it's it's uh, different from the uh, vanilla playthroughs. So that's going to be interesting to uh, deal with as well. But anyway, that's it from me, Twitter die. Take care. I'll see you guys next time for when I do start a speedway. Ciao.